and I say, Koma, not come out of no charity seat. Uh, that is Bola Ray. On the mommy, a point your mommy has said you may. I think the first time I ever sat on the radio was with Bola Ray or Top Radio. My name is DJ Snoop. We used to do a program called Top Power Slam every Sunday. And then I'm in DNH as a mini producer, as a top uh, city jam. I know you're not from Monday to Friday from about 3 a.m. to 3 p.m. Yeah, yeah, all the way. So it was the best show back in the day. I was just a youngin, following his footsteps. And then after that, I went to a couple of uh, radio stations and uh, like Radio Gold uh, a little bit. And then Yagola, I was MC in Yagola, one of the best MCs. I'm actually the one of the first propounders of the people that started MCing in the nightclub. I want to give respect to somebody like uh, Woodman because now Mr. and now Mr. Teddy, no but when we talk about somebody that actually starting MCing in the nightclubs and making it pop and hip that everybody's doing now in Ghana, I'll say I was the one that started it uh, at Yagola. I say Yagola baby back in the day, and that was me. And uh, you know, I brought people like Commotion up in the business right now. He's one of the best MCs in Ghana as we speak right now. So that is. Just a brief summary of my background. Okay, okay. I'm saying good. I'm saying no. I did be usu ya na se la oya kwa e wa jenzo be MC. Eh, na me the ma me kwa e MC ne se na me pe ma na no mu fimi. Ti na me se me I was going to do something that was going to put my name out there. Oja se me no be kasa na wo church ongu miswa. Eni oti se MC be le skoni na the DJ be le ne ba wa ba e wa vi. And I need to have bounce me boomerang pa bula must stream me sa you know because I was a young and very young guy me be be in fact it's me being an MC and a DJ it gave me way somebody like FM used to bounce me all the time who do was I'm a quite small boys I'm a quite small boys I'm not bouncing me was not musu sir so that was one of the motivations and aside that you know bula was always you know more or less like a mentor so I saw what he was doing. And I saw the leverage that he had in terms of access to so many different kinds of people in work of life. I'm like, I really want to do that. And so that was what inspired me to get into it. Yeah, okay, MCA, okay. Why you MC or Ghana, Papa? Compare, you know, uh, Ghana MC in the uh, US, especially Maryland, Virginia. Mm -hmm. I say, uh, so I had this. You see, I had the Oba had DMV there. Uh, we have a few MCs that are standing out. Somebody like Mr. Inkum, like more or less like an uncle that we respect very very revered in this area we in a few are me come when a couple of mcs that are doing so well. i mean when you compare the two they're telling say hasika said no air more like legit not don't get me wrong said ghana i was doing very well some bar but i have no we need to panic as a master wedding our og og birthday party og og and it's like continuous every week you know so that is what we call a side hustle in this country that shouldn't be your bread and butter but it's one of the components of your everyday life so you add that one to your income and so yeah when i compare the two preferably though i'll say this country because advantage is now one year more but then ghana is where i go my you know i started everything